In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the shallow crossing concept out of the U-trips formation. I believe that this is the number one passing concept in all of Madden 23, and it's a must-have in your offense. So we're going to show it to you how to run it out of U-trips. If you want to get my entire U-trips offensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's only $10 to become a member, and like I said, it's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The play we're taking a look at today is curl flat or curl flats out of the Y off trips pass formation in the New England Patriots playbook. The setup for this is we're going to streak our solo receiver. We're going to put our tight end on an out route. We're going to take our outside trips receiver here, and we're going to put him on a slant, and we're just going to motion him across and snap the ball whenever he passes this left tackle. What you're going to notice with this play is your tight end out route is going to give you a very quick read and quick way to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. As you guys probably know, man-to-man uh, -man is definitely the meta right now, and so you need something in your arsenal that is going to allow you to be able to beat man coverage rather quickly. Now, the next read on this play is if that is covered, you want to take a look at your slot route. You're going to see that this post route is one of the best man beaters in the game this year. Now, if you watch any competitive Madden player play, it doesn't really, really matter what formation they're running. They're going to have some variation of this concept. It's an absolute must-run concept this year. You can snap the slant route right about here as well. Sometimes where you snap it can get you just different pieces of separation. As you can see right there, though, your slant route is going to give you different opportunities to be able to attack man-to-man -man coverage as well. Now, the other thing that I want to show you uh, in terms of man coverage is this left side receiver one of the things that you have the uh, potential to get out of this is you could also uh, kind of snap it like this and sometimes they'll kind of bump each other like that and you can have a chance to throw that with a free form to the outside and give yourself a chance to be able to attack the man coverage over the top what will start to happen is they will start to put zones out there to try to take stuff like that away and again what this is going to do for your offense is it's just going to isolate the user in the middle of the field and now the user is going to have to choose am i going to guard the slant or am i going to guard that little uh, post route over the middle now another way that you can help kind of beat the coverage is if you put short in elite on that outside re receiver if for whatever reason if you have short out elite on him another thing you can do to kind of create the same basic concept is to actually motion this guy all the way across the formation and go ahead and put him on the streak and now let your solo receiver run on the short in elite. So that way, that's just a way that you can kind of, I guess, manage your abilities a little bit to make sure that the best players are always running like the best routes for them. So that's something else that's kind of a little, you know, underrated piece. Now we're gonna get into zone coverage here in just a second, but again, just wanna show you this one more time. You're gonna see Every now and then, like I said, we're going to get that random pick, random rub. You can ag these and then basically try to just avoid the KOs, as you can see right there. Now, why this concept is so good is because if they run zone, your reads really aren't going to change that much. And when you can put levels of consistency in your offense, it's really, really helpful. If they're not playing hard flats, you are going to throw that tight end every single time. That tight end out route is seriously one of the best features of this offense because it's a ability gives you the ability to beat man-to-man -man coverage very quick. It also gives you the ability to take zone coverage and attack that very quickly as well. Now, what you're going to see against zone coverage is you want to freeform this down, try to keep it away from the safety, and you're going to have that route coming back across the formation to be able to give you a slant post read. Now, I'm going to show you how you can run the slant post concept in just a second out of multiple uh, plays within the formation. But again, it's the main primary way that you want to be attacking man coverage this year because it's really hard for the user to be able to use both the slant and the post. Now a way that you can actually set this up so that you can attack both man and zone is you can utilize this same concept from other plays in the formation. So I'll give you another play that is really good uh, for attacking both man and zone coverage. And that is, if I could find it here, the Y option wheel in this formation. 
What you can do with this play is you can out route your tight end. You're going to take your slant. You're going to put him or your slot now, and he's going to be the slant. And basically, you just flip-flop the play, if you will. Now your post is coming from the left side, and your slant is coming from the middle of the field. And you also have that fade route on the outside to be able to give you separation against zone. So kind of almost identical, if you will. It's just going a little bit of a different direction. And now we're also capitalizing on a running back wheel route here which we know running back wheel routes this year can give us a pretty decent chance to be able to highball and freeform that up and over the top of any kind of main coverage. So this play alone is going to give you some other options. Another thing that's really nice about this play is if you have the short out elite on that outside receiver, he'll light up just like that and give you the ability to be able to attack man to man coverage over the top of the defense like we want to there. So you can kind of use both of these concepts in kind of the same way, um, but they they both do a really good job of attacking both the man coverage meta, but it also attacks a lot of different zones, including cover three, cover four, cover two. There's really not a good way to defend this play, whether it be man or zone. There's also not a great way to defend this play if it's match coverage. I'll go back to the curl flat uh, setup, and we'll show you what this looks like against match coverage. Against match coverage, we're kind of in the same boat out here what you'll notice is if they're not um, respecting your slant over the middle of the field a lot of times he's going to out leverage the user and be wide open across the formation so you not only have a play that's going to be able to beat man but you also have a play that's going to be able to attack zone as well as match coverage which is the hallmark of any effective money play in madden and that's why the shallow cross concept is one of the best concepts in this game i believe it's the number one play number one concept that you need to master this year to be attacking any kind of defense that you're going to face thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about the u-trips offense make sure to join our patreon the link is going to be down in the description below